Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making a vision board together. If you're a beginner and you don't know about vision boards or how to make one, keep watching. So first of all, what is a vision board? Vision board is a representation of our dreams and our goals. It's something to uh, remind us on a daily basis what we're trying to achieve. A vision board is usually full of pictures and text that can remind us of our dreams and our goals. The next step is to find what are our visions. For this step, I have prepared a couple of questions and I like to write them in my journal and just answer them. That will make me realize what are my actual goals. For that, I will use a journal. Um, I like to write them down instead of typing them. So it's really up to you. If you're more comfortable writing them in a journal, you can use one like me. Um, but if you're more comfortable just typing them, just type them on your phone, it's fine. Okay. So the first question that I like to ask myself is what are the main goals that I am trying to achieve? And in the next question, I like to write what are some texts or some quotes that um, really inspires me? Try to just use some uh, text or sentences that are not negative and um, they're also not that long so when you look at your vision board you have the chance to read them fully and get motivated with them so in the next question I like to ask myself what are some words that make me happy okay so the next question is that if money and fear were not factors, what would I be doing with my life right now? I'm always excited to answer this one. Alright, the next question is what are some places that I like to travel to? I think it's better to just name the city instead of the country so try to be as specific as you can okay I'm done answering the questions and now it's time to find pictures that matches my dream for finding the pictures you can use either uh, Pinterest, Instagram or any pictures that you have already in your phone works too if you already have some so it's up to you where to find them I'm done finding the photos and I have them here now that I have the photos um, what I like to do is to upload them in Canva and then um, just organize them there So I uploaded all the photos in Canva and all I have to do now is to just bring them there one by one and organize them the way I want them to be. So this is how my vision board is going to look like. No Misu, don't bite. Alright, now there's two ways to use your vision board. Um, the first and the easiest one is to just save the photo that you just created in Canva or any other applications. And then you can use that as a background or wallpaper. So whenever you open your, let's say, iPad or laptop, you'll be able to just see that. Another way is to print the photo that you created in Canva. This one. You can just print out with your printer and then frame that or have it on paper and just put it on the wall or next to your desk. I'm going to try that one because I don't use my iPad or my laptop that much. So I want to have it next to my desk whenever I am studying or doing something at my desk. It can remind me of my visions. Before I print the image, I just want to 
add a filter on that because I want all the photos to um, look the same kind of color. You don't have to do that if you like it the way it is. I just want to make sure all the pictures are in the same color. It looks much better. <laughs> So I'm just going to save this and I need to connect to my printer and print that. For printing, I'm just going to use a regular A4 paper. I prefer to have it in A4 paper so I can hang it anywhere. Miss is waiting for my vision board to be printed. <laughs> Alright, now that I have this, I'm going to uh, frame it. It's just gonna look a little bit better <laughs> once it's in a frame. I'm just trying to cut the white borders so it looks better. Misu, no. Misu, no. Misu is stepping on my visions. <laughs> All right. And my vision board is finally ready. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it really turned out good. Even though the printer messed up a little bit, but it's not that obvious once it's in a frame. So yeah, if you face the same issue as me, then put it in a frame. The last thing is just to um, have this vision board somewhere that you can see it regularly. Um, you can put it uh, next to your desk, um, on your nightstand, or anywhere that you check that more often. Because the more you look at your vision board, the more you remember your dreams, and your mind will focus on them more often. Another thing is that make sure to actually believe in what you put here believe that you will achieve them no matter how big that dream might be just believe in yourself and your abilities that you are going to achieve them no matter how hard it might seem i'm going to put it next to my nightstand because this way i'll see it first thing in the morning and last thing at night <laughs> That was it for today's video and I'm glad that I got to share my vision board with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know in comments if you were able to make your own vision board and if you did then tag me on your photos on Instagram. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!